My name is Steven Annie, and in this video, we'll be learning something new in Blender. In this video, we'll be learning how to model in the object mode. Now, we'll be modeling a table and a laptop. Now, to do that, remember first the tools that we used. So, we'll have the move tool. I will simply go to the scale tool because I want to be able to scale this particular thing into a table. So, I'm going to select this and scale it down like that on the Z axis. When I do that, I will use the move tool to move it up. I'll still use this scale tool to scale it on the Y axis and also on the X axis. That is how I can be able to create a very simple table like this. And the next thing I want to do is to build the legs. Now the fastest way I'm going to do this is to press Shift D to duplicate the leg and click to accept what I have duplicated. Then click on the move and then click down. So with this, I can be able to select the scale again and scale it down on the Y axis and then on the X axis. And then scale it up. When I scale this way, I'll scale it up on the Z axis. Now I can scale it down proportionally, that's in all the axes, by pressing S and scaling it down. And then I can use this move to move it to this place. So the shortcut for scaling things is S. The shortcut for rotating is R. And the shortcut for moving is G. So I will simply bring this down here. And I would like to scale it down more. Now, the next thing I want to do is to select this one and press Shift D again, click to accept and drag it again to this location. And I can select this, hold Shift and select that one and Shift D and duplicate and move it to this side. Now, in this particular one, I will not be using a lot of things here because I just want us to learn how to model an object mode. So right now, I want this to be a bit better because if you look at this, it's very, very sharp. And that is not how things look like in real life. So I'm going to select this and I'll press Ctrl A and apply the scale. Now why I'm doing this is that I want to be able to make this to take the, pro the proportion. After scaling, if you look at here, we'll have one 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 here because i've applied it if you click here you see that it's out of alignment and this could actually cause problems later so i'll press ctrl a and apply the scale and then select this one ctrl a apply scale click ctrl a apply scale and that's ctrl a apply scale now i want to be able to apply what we call modifiers now i'll be talking more about these modifiers later but i want to introduce you to it in this particular class so I'll select this and I'll use a bevel now the bevel is used to add some curved edges if you look at what is happening here it helps let me go back to zero if you open, if you bring it up a bit you actually see that it makes the edges not to be sharp but actually to be curved in a way and it looks better that way so we'll increase this segment and then increase this now the next thing you want to do is to right click and smoothen it okay so i'm just going to do it in all of them and as i'm doing it again and again you'll get used to it so i'm going to go to this remember i used here 0 0.4 and 4 segments so i'll select this and i'll do 0 0.4 and then put four segments right click and smooth the same thing here select this bevel Four, 
for that. And then make sure you have smoothing it. Then again, bevel. Then you also want to do that same thing to your table, the, the top part of it. So I'm just going to go over here and go for bevel again and then I will use the same thing for. Now I would like to also scale this table a bit up like this. And I have this right now. Now the next thing I want to do, I also want to model a simple laptop here. And for us to do this, we might not model a laptop that will be very detailed because we are just modeling in the object mode. If we want to model a more detailed laptop, we will have to enter into edit mode. So I'm going to quickly shift D on this and I'll bring this up. If you look at this, I'm not applying any other thing. But if you want to add a new object or a new mesh, use the 3D cursor. If you click here, pressure shift A, and then you can bring in the cube again. And then you can just scale it down on the Z axis. This will serve as the bottom part of the laptop. So I'll scale it down like this. And then I will go to the modifier here and then add the bevel again take it back down to zero and then increase it to four and then go to four segment Control a apply the scale and right click and apply smooth now this might be too much for a laptop so we might have to change some few things here i'm going to reduce this a bit to something like this and i think this will be very good for my laptop now the next thing i want to do is to shift d on this and press R and rotate on the Y axis if you look at this you see this is the Y axis if you press X that will be the X axis so I will want to go to the Y axis and then I'll press 90 degrees enter key let me do that again if you select this shift D rotate on the Y axis R Y 90 enter key I'll use a move tool to move it up and move it this way. So if you look at what is happening right now, this is more like a square kind of thing. It's a bit uh, too long. So I'm going to select this two by selecting this, holding shift and selecting this one too. And getting my scale tool and I will scale it this way so that it will look like a normal laptop. Now, what I want to do here is that I want to simply scale these things down, but I will do that later. So I will make sure that these things are actually aligning properly. So I'm going to push this one up a bit so that it's not actually entering into this particular part of the laptop. Now, the other part of the laptop we're going to build are the buttons, and I will simply shift D and I'm gonna drag this up here and I'll put this up like that scale this down and after scaling it down I'll move it to this side now remember that we're doing a very simple thing and we're not doing a detailed model. So we'll be skipping a lot of things like the, the space bar and the enter keys and other things that will actually make this model to look more realistic. I would like to push it down and I'll press Ctrl A and apply my scale again to actually make it look good. So if you look at what it looks like right now, it's quite alright. So I would like to reduce this. Let me increase this a bit. I think that will be better for us. It's 
So I will save my work so that I do not lose what I'm actually doing. So I will call this object mode modeling. So the next thing I want to do is to add the array modifier. So the array modifier enables you to be able to multiply things without actually duplicating it. So I can be able to increase. And this is for the space, dividing them. So I have this space. So I can just keep on increasing if I wanted to. Now in a typical keyboard, we'll have about one, two, three, four, five, six. I just counted my keyboard and I have about six lines and that's what we'll have here. So I would like to scale this up a bit somewhere here and this will be part where the mouse will be that's the trackpad but we might not be putting that in this particular video so i'm going to add a new array another one for this one i'm going to change the direction it's actually going on the on the x-axis i'm going to take that x-axis make it zero and i'll go for y-axis so if you look at this, this is a positive y-axis and you see it's actually going this way. So if you look at this, we can be able to use this to create a very simple keyboard. So I'm going to quickly select this and select this and select that. Now this one that has a lighter orange color is the last one I've selected and when I parent it, parenting means making one particular object to control the other one so that when you move that one, the other ones move with it. So after I've selected using my shift to select this as the last, I'll press ctrl P and I'll click on keep transform, object keep transform and this will enable me to be able to scale down my laptop however I like. And if I want to duplicate my laptop, I can simply hold the shift, select this one, two, and that, and shift D, and duplicate this to be able to create this one, too. And that is how you can be able to model things in the object mode. I will see you in the next class for us to work with the edit mode.